is everyone today? No, we just saw each other yesterday. Okay. So still constantly working on figuring out um, videoing for you guys. I have bought a light that is above here. Um, I'm not sure if it's too much. It might make a glare. Um, I might just have to find a softer light bulb, but um, always trying to make it better. All right. So yesterday um, we went over um, cleansing and um, clearing your crystals. And um, I know lately we kind of been kind of hopping around for different things. Um, and that was because I kind of wanted to get in, you know, the retrograde information during that time. And I wanted to get full moon information in on that time and stuff. And now we've kind of got a little bit of a, a break. Um, we don't have um, our full moon is towards, I think, the 25th. I'd have to check the actual dates. Um, and then Samhain, Hall Halloween, is the 31st. Um, so we have a little bit of time, um, where as, as of right now, I don't know of anything that's going to be popping up that we need to talk about, but that could totally change. But so I'm going to try to stick with, um, you know, and go a little bit over, um, some of the crystal stuff some more with you, um, so that you guys, um, you know, can get, um, a better understanding of that instead of trying to hop all around for you. Um, I did make, um, today's a little shorter because I tried to cram in too much yesterday. And then at the end of the day, I felt like I was like, just kind of spitting it all out to, to get it in for you. Um, so I made it a little shorter and that way, um, it'll be a little bit more relaxed. And, um, you know, if I have something I want to show you or something I want to get in, hopefully, um, I can do that. So again, I'm learning all of this as I go. And I thank you all for, um, still joining and bearing with me. Again, if there's anything you guys want to talk about, send me a private message or, you know, just comment below that there's something that you're looking to talk about. Because um, once we get through Samhain, um, we'll talk a little bit about Thanksgiving and then um, we'll talk some about um, Yule, Christmas, winter solstice kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, and then the new year, which... Um, the pagan new year is actually Samhain is Halloween is, is, um, when the calendar changes for the pagans, but we don't get our own special calendar. So, um, we'll talk about new years on the regular new years and things like that. So, um, before we did get started, so, um, you know, I, sh I shared the events to you, um, that Athena does. And, you know, I'm always telling you guys, um, if you can buy the kits, awesome. Um, because they are really great kits and I love them and they're good quality. Um, but I also say, you know, if you can't afford it, don't go buy it. I don't want you to go broke. I don't want you to, um, you know, spend money that you don't have. Or the other thing with the kits is, you know, you may have, um, some of the items already and there's no sense in buying a kit if you already have the items. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing is buying the pieces. Um, so when she puts out a kit for an event, um, I always go into it and I go through the description of the items of what is coming and I write them all down and then, um, I can go back and say, okay, I have this stone. I have this stone. I have this stone. I don't have this one. So then I can just go buy that one stone. Um, you know, and so, cause you don't need to get the kit if you're going to get, you know, the same stones over and over again, unless you just really want to have a bunch of them. Um, because that's kind of part of what we'll talk about today is um, the different uses of them. So if you decide you want um, a certain crystal that you really like and you want to have multiples, then you could still get the kit. Um, for example, um, there was a stone that I wanted um, that was in her kit for the full moon that's coming that I didn't have one of the stones. Well, it was, it was the black tourmaline, which I have my black tourmaline bracelet, but I don't actually have, um, a stone 
they're meditating still. Um, so I went in and I just Googled um, on her page. You can do a search. I call it Google, but it's a search on her page. And I put in black tourmaline. And um, she had one that was a bigger stone. Um, I think it was like for 14 or $15. And then she had a small stone set, which had like five stones in it, which the black tourmaline was one of them, for like $9. So I did that. I bought the $9 one. I still got my black tourmaline and then I've got some other stones coming with it. So, you know, it's always good to shop around and if you're not really sure what you're looking for, um, again, I'm always willing to help, um, you know, look around and, and find the best value for you. Um, so that's always, you know, a good way to get your kit. Um, the other thing is like I had showed you guys the picture, I think on here, but she had done an altar candle, um, which again, she was selling, I think with the perfume for like 30 or something dollars. I don't remember what it was. And, um, I didn't really have $30 to buy a candle or the perfume. So I wrote down all the stuff that was in the perfume and went back and made my own blend, um, from essential oils that I had here. I was missing one of them. Um, but I just, you know, blended the ones she said and, the one I didn't have, I found one that was very, very similar to it and blended it and made my own. So, um, you know, that's things you can do if you have the essential oils already. Um, the altar candle, hers was very printed and, and stuff, but, um, so I just took a red candle from the dollar store. I had some black paint. I had the glitter. I had the ribbon and the key was something I had found and I don't even remember where I found it. Um, and so I have made my own little altar candle and really technically all this cost me was the dollar for the candle that I bought because everything else, I already had it for something else. And then we talked about the new moon ritual where we were going to set intentions and, you know, we talked about, um, putting them in a jar. And so again, I went to the dollar store and I got a red glass mason jar. Um, it didn't come with a lid, um, but actually this lid, even though it doesn't fit real tight, it does screw on. It's a spaghetti jar lid. And I just glued some old newspaper print on it and wrapped it with the twine. And then I that stuff I already had again and um, the ribbon that I glued around it I already had I just hot glued it on there you'll see the back it didn't quite meet but that's okay nobody's gonna see that and then um, this was off a necklace that the chain broke and um, it's one of those things like well I hate to throw it away um, so I put it in my crafting trunk and um, when I was making the jar and I was going through all my craft stuff and I said, you know what, I'm going to pull that out and put it on there. And so just real quick on my um, new moon, what I did was, um, so I just want to give you an example of how, how it goes. Um, so write the intentions on your um, paper or a leaf and just, you know, do, I sent you the thing with, you know, to setting up your space and meditating and setting your intentions and all that's on there um, in the post and then you're going to write your intentions on your leaf and put it in your jar now i got a bigger jar because every new moon i'm going to continue to add to this um, and then so where i was telling you um, this time of year is the pagan new year so i'm going to do try to use this same jar for a full year and then next year at this time of year, again, I'm going to make a new one and, and set my intentions for the new one. So that's why I made this, I got a little bit of a bigger jar. Um, and just so you know, some of the things I put in it was, um, so my intentions were, my intention that I set was for, um, new beginnings because I got a lot of different stuff that falls under that. Um, this group, um, speaking my truth. Um, you know, just being true to who I am, um, all my learning and everything. So it was new beginning. And so, um, 
some of the things that I put in there to help with that was, um, and I'll, I'll explain why, I put some ashes in there because um, the ashes to me represent um, like the phoenix um, where from ashes it's reborn over and over again. So I put some ashes in there. Um, I put some seeds in there, um, a few little seeds because seeds are a new beginning. And then um, the other thing that I put in there was some moss, which you're going to say that doesn't make sense, but it does to me because this is moss that we used to decorate um, for mine and Eric's wedding. So there was moss all over the tables and this is moss from, from the wedding. So that was a new beginning for me because it was our wedding. So that's just kind of some of the things you can put in there. Um, so anything, you know, that's similar to whatever the intention is that you're setting, um, you can put in there. There's no right or wrong way. If it feels right for you to put it in the jar, then go ahead and put it in the jar. So I wanted to go over those. Then I'm going to talk about more about our, um, our crystals. So today I wanted to talk about um, the 10 ways, um, you know, the 10 easy ways to um, use your crystals. So we talked yesterday about that each crystal has um, an energetic vibration. So here, these are the ones, again, I, I always keep a little plate um, right here in my space um, that, you know, are the ones that are going to be um, helpful with communication and third eye and things of that sort. So I have a little platter that I keep right here in front of me. So they have energetic vibrations. Um, and those are going to impact how you um, how you sense things, and they're going to help um, how you are in your space, and they're going to help. Um, Word just left my head. It's going to help um, with your own energetic vibrations. So um, those are what the crystals' purposes are for. Um, so the first way and. Um, you know, you got you guys have heard me say this. Oops, go ahead and break it. You guys have heard me say this before. Um, you know, put them in your pocket. Um, you know, um, I don't have one here, but I have one of those little velvet like jewelry, um, pouches. Um, sometimes I'll put them in there and put them in my pants pocket. Um, some people have like little leather pouches that they've had made. Um like a little medicine bag that they've had made, put them in their pocket. Um, some people have a pouch on a chain and they can put the stone in the pouch. Um, but my number one thing, which is just really easy, is I just slip it inside my bra. And because <laughs> then to me, it's right there. It's right onto your skin. Um, you know, it's um, making more of a contact for me. And People say that that doesn't matter, um, but to me, you know, if it's in the room, it's helping you. Um, if it's in your space, it's helping you. Um, but to me, the you know, holding them, touching them, having them on touching your skin, um, to me, is going to be more effective. Um, but you can certainly, again, you know, everything is how you feel it should be right for you. So that's the easiest way is just, you know, put them in your pocket. Um, they they are not going to do any good if you just put them in a drawer and leave them there and don't do anything with them. They're not going to really serve you much purpose. Um, so, you know, you can, um, if you want to have them, you want to use them, um, you know, like I said, um, you know, just sitting here, um, uh, you can play with them, um, you know, uh, leave them next to your couch and on a little bowl and while you're sitting there watching TV, just pick one and just kind of hold it and play with it. I think it's good for stress too. Um, so like I said, you can carry them in your pocket. Um, you can make, um, like a little medicine bag or a pouch. Um, it doesn't even have to be anything fancy. You can go to the dollar store and get one of those little makeup zipper bags or something and put it in there and put that in your pocket. Um, I have a little velvet one that um, has two or three really, really little tiny stones that I leave in my pocketbook. Um, so that's another thing that you can do with them. Um, there's certain ones, like every stone, every gemstone 
has something that it is um, associated with, something that it's going to help with. And if you get, if you have any questions, you don't know which st stones to um, use, again, just message me. Um, I'm always willing to help. Um, but for example, if you're having problems with sleeping, um, which I do, I have horrible insomnia. Um, I was up last night. I think the last time I saw on the clock was 1.54. <laughs> um, so that would be a solidite um, if you wanted to, soda light if you wanted to help with that. And um, that is what this one is and this one. So these are soda light. So I wear these all the time. Um, I still have insomnia. So, um, or you could amethyst. Um, and a good way to do that is you can just, um, you know, put them in your pillowcase, just underneath the bottom side of your pillow, just slide them in your pillowcase. Or again, you know, if you have some sort of little bowl, little platter, um, a vase, anything like that, you could just put it um, on your bed stand, um, you know, your nightstand. I'll just kind of try to pick this up without making a messy and show you. This is the one that I leave here. Thing. So it's just a little teeny tray that I got, um, I think at Job Locks or something, and I, I think I paid a dollar or two for it. And then it's got, um, like I said, it's got crystals that are going to be good with communication and um, my third eye. And so those just stay right here um, because I want them to help me with my communication with you guys. All right. So the Another way is meditation, which I've talked to you guys about that. You know, um, if you have, um, say you're working on um, something and you, so you go get a stone and you get a quartz and you can just, you know, sit and relax um, and hold them. Um, you know, you can do two stones, four stones. Um, you know, if they're small stones, maybe you could hold six, but um, to me that's getting a little little much but you can certainly do it if it feels right for you um, and again we've talked about meditating with your crystals if you you know I want to kind of line them up with your um, chakras um, you know you could you'd certainly probably want to lay down um, to do that because holding them all in your spaces um, would be very uncomfortable and it wouldn't be very relaxing meditation so if you're going to try to meditate with your stones for your chakra um, and you want to line those up, you know, you can certainly um, lay down in a comfortable spot and line your stones up and meditate. Um, I usually just hold them. Um, I don't have a lot of time to lay down and do that. Um, someday my plan is to have a nice little meditation spot for myself where I can go and play my meditation music and it's peaceful and it's full of all the stuff that I love and not crammed on this little table. <laughs> but someday. It's a good goal to have. Um, so meditating. And so like I said, you want to meditate, you know, if you can. I know it's really hard. Um, it's even really hard for me. I have a really hard time with it. Is to meditate um, with your crystals at least like 10 minutes every day. Um, and I know that's really hard. Um, but when you think about it, it's like 10 minutes. 10 minutes is really nothing. Um, but sometimes it is hard to fit in 10 minutes in your day to just sit and, and um, take care of yourself. So try to do that. Um, a little side note, if you are doing that and you are using your crystals and you're meditating and not a guided meditation, well, I guess you could do it with a guided meditation too. Um, journal it, you know. Um, sit down and just kind of write, um, you know, it doesn't have to be specific, specific. It doesn't have to be what day it was or anything like that. Um, you could just say meditated with, um, soda light and, uh, smoky quartz. And, um, this is what came to me. And, um, so then you can go back and reflect on that and, and you know, use those things for either, um, new moons for, um, you know, setting intentions or full moons for releasing something. Um, cause sometimes we get so busy and then when it comes time for like a new moon or full moon and I sit down and I think I'm like, what am I going to release? I don't have anything to release. And well, trust me, we all have shit to release. Um, so sometimes writing what comes to you in your meditations, 
um, is a good way to then go back and use that information later. Um, so there's a new thing that's out um, that I really want, <laughs> and I'm sure it's a fad thing, um, but um, so you can drink what they call gem water, and that's a really good way to work with your crystals as well. And it's just what it says it is. You just put, um, so if you had a glass and you filled it with um, distilled water, spring water, um, and you're just going to drop in the gemstones, the crystals of what you want to work with. Um, so again, if I wanted to work with communication or third eye, I could drop any of those into my glass of water. Let it set for 24 hours and then you take the stones out. And then you drink the water. Um, there's another thing that they do with moon water, and I'm going to talk about that on another day um, for doing that work as well. Um, but you can go on Amazon, and they have a water bottle now that has um, a spot for your gemstone in it. And so you can drink your water with your gemstone in it, and not it's not going to be coming up to the lid or bouncing around and, and you know, bouncing off the glass bottles and things like that. But they're like 40 or $50 and it's like, I really want one, but I, I just don't, it's kind of silly, but someday they'll go on sale and I will get one. Um, so gem water. Um, another way to work with your crystals is gridding and um, displaying them on your altar. Um, and again, we'll talk about gridding and we're going to talk about um, altars. I have currently two set up right now. I have my altar that's in my bedroom that is there all the time. I um, don't hardly ever change it. It's it's very personalized for me. Um, and, you know, maybe that'll be a live one day. I'll go and, and we'll go over um, the things that are on my altar. And then right now I have um, my Samhain altar, um, which is in my living room. So people that are coming into my home can see it as well, but I can see it. And um, again, after this holiday, you know, um, it will get changed out um, for um, Thanksgiving or Yule Christmas. So that's an altar that I'm going to kind of work on um, updating and changing for, um, you know, whatever the holiday or um, a ritual or whatever it is that I'm working with. Um, so I'm going to try to be better with that. Um, so I made a space for that and um, set up my Samhain altar. Um, unfortunately, my candle that I made doesn't fit on it. Um, well, it fits, but I wouldn't want to burn it on there because it's shelves. And um, I wouldn't want to burn it on the shelf. So it's going to have to find a different home. But that's it. And so you can do a grid. And I showed you the picture of the grid yesterday and I put it away. Um, so um, there are printable grids on the internet. So you can just go print out a grid. Um, I posted, I think, one in the group. So you can just click in that and print it. Um, someone's calling me. Um, you can go in and click in and print them and work that way. Um, you can um, just make your own grid. You could draw one. Um, I'm going to see if my daughter, Carissa, who does a lot of decal work and stuff, if there's something that she can print off and make some sort of a decal. And my in plan is to get a piece of um, wood, so round, so sliced it, you know, through so it would be round. And then put the decal on it, and then I was going to have my husband um, like polyurethane it or something. So it would be a nice um, altar piece as well. Um, again, you can buy them on um, Sage Goddess. Um, she just had the pentagram one, but I think it's already sold out. Um, she doesn't carry those a lot, so when she does, they um, go pretty quick. Um, you can always go on Etsy. Um, they sell them on Etsy, um, but they're pretty pricey on there. Um, a good size one is going to run you 20 30 $40. Dollars. Um, they do sell really tiny ones, but to me, you're not going to get much of a grid out of something that tiny unless you have really tiny little st gemstones. Um, so again, we'll, we'll have another live that's going to go over, um, you know, grids and um, altars. 
and we'll go over the different kinds of grids that there are. There's like four or five basic ones, um, but um, grid printouts that you can use, but the number of grids that you can make per printout is pretty much endless. Um, so you can do the grids or you can just put them out on your altar. Um, so right now on my Samhain altar is um, my crystals that, um, so I have my crystals here and then I have my crystals that are on my um, bedroom altar. But then the rest of my crystals, if it's not in jewelry form, is pretty much on that shelf. Um, I've got some of them displayed out on the shelf and then a bunch of them I just have in a glass bowl. Um, so you can still see them, um, but they're just in the bowl. So they're displayed in that way. Um, that way for me, like when in, in the morning when I'm getting ready and stuff, I can just go to the bowl and I look through the bowl and I just pick a stone and that's the stone I'm gonna carry with me. Um, it's really a nice little handy thing to have them all in that bowl. And I wanted a glass clear bowl um, so when the bowl was sitting on the shelf, you could kind of see them and enjoy them at the same time. Um, so another way is, um, you could put them in your car. And so this was where, and I was kind of saying, you know, if you wanted multiples of certain stones, um, this is when that would kind of come in handy, um, because you could get, um, say the black tourmaline is a good one because it's, um, for protection and grounding. Um, so who doesn't need a little protection and grounding in their car? <laughs> I suffer road rage too. Um, so you could put, um, some black tourmaline, um, either in the cup holder. Um, most cars, I don't come with ashtrays anymore. I don't know. I don't smoke. So, um, but if you had an ashtray and you don't use it as a smoker, you know, you could, um, always put some crystals in the ashtray. Um, there's always a little spot again. You could put them in a little pouch and hang them on a mirror or on your turn signal handle or whatever. You could keep them in your car. Um, I don't care too much for the, the pouch things because unless you can find a clear one, um, which usually they're not usually they're the, like the black velvet or the red velvet ones or leather or, you know, something like that. And I like to be able to to see them. They're pretty. I want to, if I'm going to have them, I want to see them. So, um, you could just put them in, um, your cup holder, the door rest, um, of your car, wh whatever. So you could have them in the car with you. Um, so that's a really good way, um, to use your crystals. Um, so then we're getting down to the last few here. So, um, my favorite one, which I'm sure you guys already all know is jewelry. Jewelry is an awesome way to have your um, crystals with you, and that is exactly what I do. So again, I have, um, I've added a hematite bracelet that I have. I have my black tourmaline bracelet here that I have. I have a rose quartz bracelet here. I have one um, that's all the different colors for my chakras. Um, so I have my sodalite here, I have my sodalite here, I have my azurite here, and then you guys can't see them, but I have a bob in there. <laughs> There's my little friend spelled Bob. I named him Bob. I know you guys like voted on a couple of different things, and I really liked my daughter's suggestion because I love the uh, movie The Last Unicorn, um, but I just kept calling him Bob even not intentionally. Um, so, um, he's Bob, which is funny because, um, in another group that I'm in, which is a lot of people that collect different kinds of skulls, different stone, gemstone skulls. And they named theirs. Like, um, one was, um, Herbert. One was Larry. <laughs> the one I talked to the other day, uh, she named hers Lucy. So it's really weird how we kind of name them. Um, like just really like, they're not like names that you would think we would name them, but just ordinary plain names. But that's what we name them. I don't know why. Maybe they tell us that's their name. I don't know. Um, so again, um, another good way is just use them as decoration. 
which I was talking about, like I have them in my glass bowl so that, um, you know, they're decorations. Um, I have not been lucky enough yet to buy any um, really large stones. Um, my plan is eventually, someday, I'm going to have um, some big um, amethyst, um, the geodes that um, have the flat bottom that stand up that you can, like the outside is the rock part and the inside is the crystal. I'm sure you guys have seen them somewhere. Um, so my plan is to have some, some things like that, some bigger stones, um, and um, keep them out as decorations. Um, and a good thing is to, um, you know, uh, put them by your door. Um, so, um, help keep negative energy outside. And that doesn't mean necessarily like evil spirits kind of stuff. And I'm thinking more like when my husband comes home from a really bad day of work and he's grumpy and he comes through that door, maybe that amethyst will help him leave some of that outside. <laughs> And myself included, I come home grumpy sometimes too. It happens. Um, so ashtrays, jewelry, decoration. And the last way um, to work with crystals and gemstones. I mean, there's an endless amount of ways, but these are like just the easy, you know, top 10 ways how to work with crystals. Um, another way is using them as offerings. And I'm not talking about sacrifices or anything like that. Um, we talked yesterday um, about um, burying your crystals. And I, I kind of said, you know, if you have a plant that's not doing so well, um, you might want to put a piece of aventurine in the plant and that will help it come back. Um, so you could do something like that as an offering to your plant. Use that that way. Um, another way is you can bury them outside and, and offer those back to, um, to the mother. Um, so that's one of the way that that's part of my little, I'm, I'm selfish and greedy and I don't want to give them back to mother. <laughs> I want to keep them for me. Um, maybe someday I'll feel like I have enough and, and, and I will do that. Um, but right now, um. I like to keep mine so but you know if you want you can always offer them back um, other people I know have um, offered them back to um, water so you could take them to a lake a pond a brook or whatever and you know put them back in the water um, that's a great way to offer back uh, for um, the mother as well and again um, you can gift them as an offering. Um, like I said, I bought a set and one of them was really just not really speaking to me. And I thought, well, I'm just going to keep it. Maybe it'll come to me later. And then later on it came to me and I'm like, oh, that needs to go. I know where that needs to go. And so I gifted it to someone. Um, so, you know, those are really great ways. If you feel um, the need to give your crystal to someone, there's a reason that you feel that need to give that crystal to someone. And, you know, sometimes we go, oh, that kind of gave me a really nice crystal. We can give them away. Um, most of them are really, you know, the ones that I've showed you and the ones that I've been buying are all usually two, three, four dollars. Um, unless you get into the bigger ones, um, you know, they can get more expensive. But everything that I buy typically is under $5 unless I buy it in a set or unless I just really want a, a larger stone. Um, the violet I, agate I bought was a little bit of a bigger stone. I think I paid like $8 for that. They're easy to be replaced. So if you're carrying a gemstone and you know, somebody's talking and you're like, oh, they really just need a piece of amethyst <laughs> and you have one in your pocket, go ahead and gift it. And um, we can buy more. We can buy more amethyst. There's plenty out there. Um, so that was it for um, the ways to use your crystals. And again, if you have any questions, you didn't understand something, you want more information on something, um, I'm always willing to give that. Um, so um, just private message me or comment below. And I'm always willing to do that. Um, if you want to work with a crystal and you really just don't know where to start, 
um, I can help with that. Um, you can work with crystals um, for actual physical um, pain and physical um, illness and things of that sort too. So if you um, have some sort of illness and you want to know, um, you know, what crystal to work with, um, anybody that's um, cancer or going through um, chemo and things like that, there's crystals out there that are going to help. Um, you can also get into um, the essential oils and all that as well. But um, since we're talking about crystals today, um, so they're out there for all kinds of things. Um, and so, you know, um, we haven't really talked too much about it here, um, but there's what we, ch we typically call the Eastern medication and the Western medication. And that is, um, you know, one is your, um, your doctor's. The, the traditional, you know, you go to the doctors and they give you medicine. And um, I'm not saying don't do that. You should always go to your doctor and stuff. Um, I would recommend if you could to find a doctor who is willing to work with you with Eastern and Western medicine. Um, I have a pretty good doctor um, who is willing to do that with me. And um, so she's not the typical, I don't go in and say I have a pain and she gives me a prescription. Um, She's actually, sometimes I have to fight with her to give me a prescription because she's like, nope, you don't need it. You can drink tea. You can do healthy things. You can wear better shoes. You can, and so that's what we need more of. And so, um, you know, again, if you want information on that, I can, you know, send you some information on trying to find a doctor in your area. That's going to be um, more like that. She's not a holistic doctor, um, which you can find those as well. Um, now you can find holistic dental offices and um, all kinds of different things um, for that. But you can find an actual medical doctor who um, goes, airs more to that kind of um, incorporating both sides of the, of the medicine. Um, so, you know, it's really great if you have a, a doctor who's like that. Um, I love her. Um, some people are like, why do you go to her? She, she makes you do all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, she does. She makes me work for it, but she doesn't just write me a prescription, which sometimes aggravates me, um, but is really in my own best interest to just not fill me up with medication and send me on my way. Um, she helps me figure out what's going on and what's wrong. And, um, you know, and certain things like my back, um, a crystal is just not going to help my back. Um, it's not going to put my bulging discs back in place. But I can use um, essential oils and crystals and meditating to help with the pain. So, you know, there's things like that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so I do need to get going for work. Um, so I will see you guys all. Um, I plan on Tuesday, our, our, you know, going trying to get back to our normal day of Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we don't have anything um, next week coming up for any holidays or anything that I know of. Um, I haven't had a chance to sit down and check. I don't think we have anything um, as anything going into retrograde or anything like that. Um, so, you know, my plan is to just kind of keep talking some more about the crystals and kind of getting you a really good base of um, working with your crystals. And then we're going to get into, like I said, the full moon and Samhain, and then we're going to have Thanksgiving and, and Yule and Christmas and all of that. So we'll be kind of busy. Um, so we've got a little bit of time to play with, and I just really feel like I really want to give you guys that good, really, um, foundation of working with crystals. So that's what I'm going to try to focus on for you for the next couple of lives. Um, but again, if there's something that anybody wants to talk about, um, certainly let me know if we can't manage to get it in alive, um, I can always, you know, get you information. Um, so always willing to help. Um, so you just need to ask for it and let me know that's what you're looking for. So again, as usual, ladies, be kind. Um, you know, like I say, um, that person that just is mean to you in the grocery store, um, has a story. There's something going on. Um, somebody has, you know, been mean to them and, um, instead of continuing that cycle and, you know, they're mean to you. And instead of being mean back or snippy back or impatient back, 
and continuing that cycle, um, let's try to break it. So, you know, um, again, if you don't feel comfortable going up to a stranger and just being like, it's okay, take your time, I'm fine, I'm not in a rush, even though we might be late for work, um, just, you know, it's fine, it's okay, take your time, um, you know, or if you're really comfortable with it, you can just say, is there something I can help you with today? Um, I, I'm not that kind of a people person, um, so I, I don't go there and maybe someday I will be comfortable enough to go there. Um, I think it's very hard for people as strangers to just, you know, be like, is there something going on? Can I help you today? Something you need? And cause honestly, most people are going to look at you like you got 10 heads. Um, but it's just really easy if somebody's having a bad day, they're taking too long in line. Um, you know, they're, they're struggling, you know, just say, it's okay. Take your time. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm good. And, you know, sometimes that's going to help them. And if you're helping them be not so miserable and grumpy, um, first of all, you didn't react that way. So you're helping yourself by not putting yourself in a bad grumpy mood. So you've helped yourself. Now you've helped this person who's having a bad day or something's going on in their life that's causing them to be upset. And then maybe they will go in turn and help somebody else who's having a bad day. And it will just keep going. And maybe someday we'll just be a much happier place to live. <laughs> it's a good goal. It's going to take a long time to get there. But we will get there, ladies. We just have to keep spreading the love and being kind. Have an awesome day. Thank you.